So class, so I'm set up to do my um, my room drawing, and um, I've got my 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 um, mixed media drawing pad in front of me. I have my two B or four B drawing pencil. I also have my white eraser, and I made sure I have a nice sharp point on my pencil. I also have my viewfinder, so I'm gonna look at my view, and I'm looking through my viewfinder, and I'm trying to organize everything according to how I want it to be arranged. And I'm thinking about how I'm gonna divide up the space. And you remember um, my thumbnail that I showed you earlier where I figured out exactly how I wanted it to look. So um, I'm gonna start drawing my, uh, my drawing now. So to, um, start by giving myself a a um, horizontal line that's halfway up and then a vertical line that's halfway across. And remember um, looking at my um, looking at my thumbnail like how many decisions I had made about where I want to fit things. So um, this um, style of drawing is, it's kind of akin to gesture. And you'll notice that I'm using a lot of straight lines. So I want you to observe like how I'm using the pencil. I'm holding it very lightly, almost like I'd hold a single chopstick. And then um, I draw these light lines to begin with. So I'm trying to draw really lightly. And um, yeah, like I said earlier, I'm, I'm trying to make all these decisions about where things should go. So like the way that where this chair lives, where the uh, guitar lives. So I decided that the chair is gonna live in this sort of space that's the upper left quadrant of the lower right quadrant of the whole page, if that makes sense. About halfway down is the line of the floor, you remember? And then the legs of the chair and below there. And now, so you'll notice this whole style is like, it's very loose and I'm not being specific about how I'm drawing things until I've decided where things really go. And at that point, I start drawing, you notice like, this is all line drawing, right? So I'm not, I'm not concerned with shading yet. I'm looking where the bottom of that guitar goes and where the top goes. Remember we decided in my thumbnail that it goes here. But now that I'm drawing a larger drawing, I can sort of think about it in more detail. You know, I can even like draw boxes, like if it helps me, I can make marks that, that direct me as to where the different parts of the object are. Um, moving over to the left side, you remember I decided that 
edge of the shelf is just about halfway across this quadrant. So I start drawing that bookshelf. There's a little space on one side. And if I recall, like the bottom shelf is about in line. So like, I'm always trying to create these relationships. Like, so the bottom shelf or the first shelf is about in line with the, the top of the, um, the arms of the chair. Um, the next shelf is slightly above the top of the chair. So therefore slightly above the halfway point. Um, I look for a relationship between um, the top of the guitar and that next shelf. Now again, yeah, always like start, start with less and create more detail as you go along. We're trying to locate everything first. Just like that. It should be a little lower on the ground. So um, lastly, there's this lamp you remember that occupies the space. And now that I'm here and not just drawing that thumbnail, I can see a lot more details. So, and once I've established these kind of broader outlines, I can really create more detail as much as I want. But um, part of this is like thinking about things in terms of transparency. And this, this is a habit of thought that you might need to work towards, but um, you can see the way I'm drawing this shelf. I'm, I'm thinking about it in three dimensions. I'm not just thinking about the parts of the shelf I can see, but like where they go when they go out of view. You can start to take this drawing further if you want. I'm going to end it about here because I like to keep my um, I like to keep my demos kind of short.